I also started taking some art classes and I got I got what in retrospect seems like almost a, an amazing amount of encouragement considering how off the wall the work I was doing compared to what everybody else was doing. I mean, we was making like little one-of-a-kind books with text and found things and making little weird sculptures, you know, and it was very, it was very kind of marginal and eccentric and definitely not what, you know, the majority of people were doing in that time period. I was always a collage person and mostly I made one-of-a-kind books and that had images and text and stuff like that. And that kind of was a something that I did. I, I started making some little collages when I was there and I gradually expanded. I was, I think I, I my work over the years went from, had went from trying to um, express my own sort of the, the, my connection with objects and my connection with words and getting those things together and putting them in a trying to put them in a sensibility that people could understand that I had that I had like um, an aesthetic right and it wasn't normal and it wasn't the you know it wasn't like the normal kind of presentation but I but I had the things that I was really interested in were more things that were more related to the humanities like you know writing and stuff like that and I was also interested in objects and collage things and so those things eventually became what became they were the books and then they were the long collage pieces with purloined narratives and and individual things and then eventually you know over time they went to having found backgrounds with objects and words and then recently they found had backgrounds with objects and no words